Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're here for a quick news update. I know I'm really late to the party on this one. It's like two, three days late. Uh, this is for the EZA cell that's currently available. Cells Extreme Z Awakening is available and the future category stuff is out. Now, I know I haven't done a team building guide. I'm trying to get that one out for you guys by tomorrow. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to concert and everything, so I need to be up early. I gotta get stuff ready, but I'm gonna do my best to try and get that. But today we're gonna be going over the Cells Extreme Z Awakening. Um, and at some point, I will do a team building guide along with the um, the Broly's. I know I still haven't done that one. My bad. I know I'm slacking off, but summertime. Uh, so anyway, we're going to start off with the JP missions. So these are the JP missions translation. Clear any event with the future category. You get 3,000 friend points. Kind of stink. Clear any Adokan event. Gravity chamber. Adokan event 5, 10, 15 times. You get potential orb. Gravity chamber. And Supreme Kai planet. Uh, 6. Win one extreme battle. Training item. 5, 10, 15 extreme battles, you get potential orbs, platinum shells, and Z-Sword. Z-Awakening unit, you get some uh, platinum shells. Dokun unit, 2 hourglass metals, release 10 potential nodes, potential orb. Consume 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1,000, 1,500, and 2,000 stamina. 1 Funky Kai of each type, 1 Elder Kai SSR, a Diamond Hercule statue, and Elder Kai medals. Uh, I don't know what uh, 100 to 400 are, I'm assuming they're just going to be like Dragon Stones. Uh, they are not po uh, posted out over here, so apologies for that. Cons uh, let's see, complete 10 of the Celebration Mission 3 stones. Uh, complete 20 Celebration Missions, you get 7 stones. So just go through all of them and try to get everything that you possibly can, and you get a whole bunch of stones for it, so that's pretty damn awesome. Um, that's going to be out for a while. Uh, I don't have the exact information but uh, of when the end date is, but it just came out, so go ahead and jump into that as soon as you get the availability to do so. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the new Extreme Z Awakening for uh, Perfect Cell. He is a beast, man. I think he is so epic. I'm really happy I have him. I really wish... See, like, uh, I don't know, for those of you who are new, I, I pulled uh, about seven of these Perfect Cells. But this is back in the day before we had a dupe system. So I got him up to Super Attack 7 um, because of that. So I was just sitting there. I was like, damn, I got him up to Super Attack 7. I can't do anything with him. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, I did use him every once in a while. Attacking defense plus 12% is not bad at all. But, you know, you get better units over the game. And Supreme Damage with only, you know, with a, a nuking passive, he doesn't become that good until, you know, you get some of the good 120 leaders and stuff like that. But even then, he never really fit on a good, any good teams because no one ever ran Super Saiyan 3 Broly. But this guy's new leader ability, obviously. Uh, tech type, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 70%, so he's a 70% leader, which is actually pretty awesome. His uh, his super attack gets bumped up from supreme to immense damage, which is phenomenal. And he recovers 10% health per super attack. So guys, he might be worth giving additionals, like um, uh, uh, like an even amount of additionals as with crit, just because of that. I mean, and he does recover 10% HP, so giving a crit will result in a lot of extra HP regeneration. Because, I mean, he can crit... For like 10, 15 million, you know, 10, 1.5, 2 million damage. I think I've seen him go up to over 4 million damage. That's 400,000. That's an entire health bar if you can get him to crit properly. Like, holy crap. That, that's an amazing pass. Uh, his, or sorry, amazing super attack. His a passive skill now is attack and defense plus 15% for every key orb obtained. Key plus one whenever key is raised with rainbow key spheres. Now, typically, you're not going to have to worry about that key plus one because you're most likely, if you run him, you're going to have some orb changers along with you to make sure he gets all of them, you know, all the collections so that way he can do his good amount of damage. But it's always good to have it there in case you're lacking in that when they're, he, when he's on the field. Um, I, I think it's just kind of something that was there. I feel like maybe they should have done something else with that. Like maybe like when HP is like... 100% like when he's perfect when it's when HP is 100% he gets an additional 10% attack um, Before he launches the super attack that would be pretty cool, but whatever it's still not that bad I think it's a pretty cool concept um, And I mean if you think about it the LR Gohan, I mean it's a little bit different He does 18% for attack uh, and he also does colossal and mega colossal damage But this guy's hitting pretty much almost as hard as that as that kid um, in terms of the stats, I mean, he's not LR status when he comes to max stats, but it's a lot easier to get max stats with him than an LR. So, um, but we're going to talk about that in a second. His link skills all stay the same. He's part of the Resurrected Warriors category, so if you're running that team, he is going to be doing ridiculous amounts of damage. That's what this Frieza over here. And this Frieza does um, attack and defense plus 170%. Think about that. Attack and defense plus 170%. With this guy's passive, with him maxed out, his max stats like fully unlocked dupe system, 16,000 HP, almost 16,000 attack, 
and 13,000 defense. This guy will be ridiculous, it's like so ridiculous on the Resurrected Warriors team. It won't even be funny. Um, I haven't watched any videos yet, so I know that some people are talking about it on the Facebook group. So I know that's that's just awesome. It's so freaking crazy. Uh, 12 key multipliers, 140%. Super attack level go up to 15, but only through uh, uh, Extreme Z Awakening. After the Z Awakening's animation, Super Tech Damage Dealer Indicator will slightly change, but he'll work as a normal unit. Um, so that's pretty awesome. So he gets two key per rainbow. So there you go. That's that's what that is. And then you can see over here all the metals that are required: 15, 40, 30, 30. Uh, pretty standard for an, an Extreme Z Awakening. I just, it, it's pretty awesome. I just, I'm very happy with him. Um, I, again, I feel like I wish he did a little bit. I, I can't really say a little bit more. I think he's one of the best units in game. You just need to have the ore placement set up for him. It would be nice to have him do a little bit more damage, but he already is OP enough. So I'm, what can you do? You know what I, I feel like to myself personally. I, 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 as much as I like how much damage he can do, the nuker passive, if you don't get set up properly, he's not doing a lot of damage. And I would like something a little bit more consistent. But, you know, whatever, what can you do? He is a cannon when he's set up properly, and he is a tank when he's set up properly. So when he, when he does a lot of damage, he also tanks very well. But anyway, guys, um, that's that. I think there's, um, no, yeah, just me comparing him to the LR Gohan earlier before I started the video. So, uh, his max easy A stats, um, are still just a little bit, a hair lower than the Gohan's attack stats. Um, at least in his base dupe system, because that's pretty much, it's very hard to pull dupe. So, 16, 9, 7, 5, and this is fi uh, pretty much 6. So, he's just a little bit less powerful than the Go. But, um, anyway, guys, yep, that's it. Thank you for joining me here today. I hope you guys are all hyped for this. This guy is so awesome. I really, I'm really happy about his Extremes of the Awakening. Um, he did not let down. But anyway, guys, thanks for joining me here today, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.